Hey guys, here's a quick one. We're just going to do a Gecko install. I've seen some people complaining that Gecko OpenSUSE tries to take over more than the drive that you're explicitly telling it to install on. And I'm going to show you how I go about it to avoid all of that. So what I'm going to do Let's get Gparted up and I'm going to blow a drive out and I'm going to show you how I do it so you can keep it contained to where you want it without any of these issues. I'm going to use this drive here. I'm just going to blow all these partitions away. And start from scratch. SD, yeah, that is the right one. Let's make sure we've got that right. I don't want to destroy what I've already got. And I have to say Gecko has got one of the fastest installers of any distro system that I've seen. I'm going to do a 512 for boot. I'm going to do 32768 to give me a flat 32 gig for my swap, because I've got 32 gig of RAM. I'm going to give the system 102400 flat 100 gig for root, and the rest of it I can have for home. So I'm going to apply that. It shouldn't take too long couple of minutes if that a few seconds 30 seconds a minute and then we'll carry on with the install I'll set the boot flag and turn swap on before I proceed this is just a well it's actually a 640 gig Western Digital blue there we go so we'll set the flag for this, for boot, wait for that to refresh, we'll turn swap on, and that saves me having to do it afterwards. Okay, so we're ready to roll, so we can close this, if we start Calamaras, It never gets the location right, but never mind. There we go. UK, UK. Just test that. Yep, that's the key I expected. There we go. Right. That's the drive. SDE. 640 Western Digital. Manual partitioning. Next. SDE. This is the one I've just set up. Keep boot because I've already done that bit so I don't need to format it again that I will format this I will format this is going to be root and this one is going to be home and let it format that in fact I will go back and let it format boot Okay, and the important bit is down here. I don't want that touching any other drive, so I'm telling it the root of SDE. So SDE is the disk, SDE is where the bootloader is going to go. This should be good to go. Let's just get my details in there. Give it my machine name. Don't log in automatically. You can use the same for now, as this is just an example. But it is on bare metal. This is a real install, not a virtual machine. So you can see the drive mappings there. 32 gig swap, 100 gig system. The rest of the drive is for home. 512 for boot, as you can see. SDE wanted boot. Install Gecko on SDE3. 
home partition is SDE4 and install the boot bootloader on SDE. This will not touch any of the, my other drives doing it this way. And um, I have to admit this installer is really quick. Gecko, I'm not quite sure how they've achieved it, but Gecko installs really, really quickly. I'm using the XFCE flavor at the moment, but as you can see, let me just pull this up, get rid of that. Gecko comes with a variety of flavors. So you can either go for static or rolling release. I've gone for rolling release, XFCE. You've got the choice of cinnamon, XFCE, gnome, plasma, mate, Budgie not available yet, in fact that's been like that for a while. LXQT, or you can do a bare bones install. You can even go for Plasma Next if you wish to go down that road. So, this shouldn't take long. We'll just let it run. In fact, I'll pause this for a second whilst that unsquashes and come back in a sec. Okay, I'm back, and that took about 30 seconds to unsquash the file system. Just doing the unit RAM FS, and we should be finished in a minute. There we go. As I said, this is one of the fastest installs of any distro I've seen ever. I mean, this is all done, you know, a whole install under five minutes, or about five minutes which is really, really fast. And this is going on bare metal. I haven't got a special machine. I mean, it is a Core i7. I've got 32 gig of RAM. You know, it's a pretty quick machine. But even still, this is a very fast install. And there we go. We're done. Our mounting file system's done. Right, so that's that bit done. I'll pause out of this and I'll reboot and come back up on the installed system and show you that it hasn't touched any other drives. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, I'm back again. This is the install done. If I open up Thunar now. Let's give that a little resize. That's an awkward grip, there we go. As you can see, that's the install media. That's the USB. There's the file system. Media is just where I'm recording this video. A storage device, Arch install, Windows disk on the SDA. As you can see, there are no other disks created. It's not taken over any of the other disks whatsoever. It's all contained on SDE where I wanted it. And so there we have it. And that's how you do a Gecko install. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks very much.